Hey everybody, this is FHRC Browning Radio Controlling Cars, and today I have a fuel pump out of my 1995 Toyota 4Runner SR5 V6. Excuse me. This one actually gave up the go, and I'll explain why in, in just a minute. But anyways, what is a fuel pump? And as the title suggests, it's supposed to pump fuel out of the gas tank to go to your engine to provide the function of a four-stroke engine needed or a two-stroke engine, whatever you have. But anyways, um, um, it's really hard for me to actually say this in words, but the way a fuel pump works is picture yourself drinking a cup of water or soda uh, with a straw. Pretend this is your mouth and whatever is up here, which is the pipeline, is the straw from Actually, this is supposed to be the straw, this is supposed to be your mouth, and then the gas tank is the cup of water, you know, in a sense. So, as you empty the cup of water or soda, you will notice that you'll hear a sound like this. What that sound is, is you're basically sipping in air. And that's one of the reasons why I actually gave up this fuel pump. If you will look in this diagram, yeah, I know this is not the, you know, the best drawing of mine, but um, this will give you a basic idea how a fuel pump or a fuel system in a car works. So, the fuel pump sucks in the gasoline in here in this tank, and then the gasoline goes through a pipeline, and then it goes to your fuel filter first, then it goes to the fuel rail. And then this final destination is the injectors, and then, and that's where the gasoline gets sprayed into the combustion chamber, and then the spark happens to ignite the, to ignite the fuel inside the engine, thus uh, providing the power that the engine needs. So why did this thing gave up the go? As I mentioned earlier, as you empty the water cup with the straw, you will notice you'll hear some air noises. You're basically sipping in air. And that's exactly what happened to this fuel pump. It was actually pumping air. And that's a bad thing. And mainly, that happens when you, when you decide to run the car all the way empty. Like, I mean, empty, empty. Your gas gauge says that the car is empty. The tank is empty. But let's put it this way. The gas gauge may, okay, let's just put it this way. Um, uh, so the gas gauge would look something like, like that on a, on a car. And then it will have the needle maybe either full or half tank or close to empty. Now, I learned this the hard way because I decided to drive my 4Runner all the way till the E. So, that's not a very good idea because basically, if it runs all the way to the E, there's actually, what's actually, but first of all, what's actually moving this, the needle on your, your gas gauge? Well, there's actually a little floater somewhere around here with a potentiometer, and as the tank empties or gets filled with gasoline, the floater actually goes up and there's a potentiometer connected to it, thus allowing the fuel gauge to go this way. Or that way now I did say running the tank empty is bad but let's just put it this way your gas your gas tank doesn't need to be all the way to the E in order for it to be fully empty it could be somewhere around here right there it's not fully empty but your gas your gas tank may be technically empty around this point on the gas gauge. Why is that? Because like I said, the empty, an empty gas tank doesn't mean the tank is completely empty. That's what happened to my 4Runner's fuel pump, this one specifically. And it actually sits near the bottom of the, of the gas tank, but not all the way to the point where it's touching it. It actually sits a little bit higher off the gas tank 
off the bottom of the gas tank. And even though the liquid still exists on the bottom of the gas tank, if this thing is open, if this is, is no longer covered with liquid, which is the gasoline, then technically you're empty because what's the fuel pump doing now? It's just sucking in air. And what happens if you if a fuel pump sucks in air instead of gasoline? Well, not only a lube, not only your car will not run, but your fuel tank will overheat because the gasoline is supposed to help lubricate or cool this fuel pump. That's what happened to my gas tank. Uh, not my gas tank. That's what happened to this fuel pump on my 4Runner. I decided to drive the car all the way to the tank was fully empty. Now, I had this experience in my 4Runner when this thing gave up to go. The gas tank, uh, the gas gauge was technically over here, but in reality, the fuel itself was already below that filter which is basically this piece. So, that's a basic understanding on how a fuel pump works and also why you should not drive till your tank runs out. I suggest uh, if um, if you hit half a tank or a little bit 20, like 25% left on gas, on your gas gauge, fill it up. Don't make the same mistake I did because Getting a new fuel pump is going to be pretty expensive and um, some cars require you to drop the tank and it's not a fun thing to do. So don't drive till that gauge goes close to the E. Change your fuel, not change your fuel, uh, fill your car up with some gasoline if once it hits at least half a tank or at least 25% of the tank. That's all for now.